What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to deal with mathematics and chemistry questions, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. In this video I want to show you how to solve trigonometric equation and I chose 2 cosine square theta minus sine theta minus 1 equals to 0. And I want to show you how to solve this equation. As you see here, we have cosine squared theta and we have sine. So it's better to change this cosine squared theta to something related to sine. From trigonometric equations, trigonometric identities, we know that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals to 1. So it means that instead of cosine squared theta, I can write 1 minus sine squared theta minus sine theta minus 1 equals to 0. So we have it distributed. It's going to be 2 minus 2 sine squared theta minus sine theta minus 1 equals to 0. So that will be negative 2 sine squared theta minus sine theta. 2 minus 1 is going to be 1 equals to 0. Now I need to solve this. Looking for two numbers. Negative 2 times 1 is going to be negative 2. And here we have negative 1. We are looking for two numbers. Multiply 2, negative 2, and add 2, negative 1. So which will be negative 2 and positive 1. When you add them, it's negative 1. When you multiply them, it is negative 2. So now, when you factor it, it's going to be negative 2 sine squared theta. Instead of negative sine theta, I will write negative 2 sine theta plus sine theta plus 1 equals to zero now i do group factoring the gcf here is negative two sine theta that will be sine theta plus one and here i have sine theta plus one equals to zero now i factor sine theta plus one and here we have one minus two sine theta equals to zero so we have two scenarios, one when sine theta plus one equals to zero, which means that sine theta will be negative one. And the other one, one minus two sine theta equals to zero, which means that sine theta becomes one over two. So we have these two scenarios, sine theta equals to negative one and sine theta equals to one half. So what kind of theta values make sine theta equals to negative 1? There is only one answer from 0 to 2 pi, which will be 3 pi over 2 or 270 degrees. For the second part, sine theta equals to 1 half. We know sine is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2. So one answer will be theta in quadrant 1. And this angle is going to be pi minus theta. So one answer is going to be sine pi over 6 or sine 30 degrees is going to be 1 half. And the other one is going to be pi minus pi over 6. Or when you do common denominator, that will be 5 pi over 6. So we have three answers. One of them is pi over 6. One of them is 5 pi over 6. And the other one is 3 pi over 2. So we have these three final answers to this question. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to you as soon as possible. I will leave some extra related playlists in the description in case you need extra help and you want to have some extra examples. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day.